Mars is a planet without animals or humans. There are no inhabitants. There might be microorganisms in the red soil, but no reports have yet to reveal any bigger animals like fox, camels, armadillo lizards, just as they dominate some deserts on Earth. Elon Musk has scheduled his construction goal, which he is extremely determined to achieve. What may be so difficult for him to figure out is how to start building the necessary infrastructures on Mars so that humans will colonize and live comfortably. Just like any civil construction at a developing site, Elon Musk has strategized his ultimate plan to rapidly lift the face of Mars and set up the first construction plants like machines, cranes, tractors, and bulldozers to commence foundational layout for the first few roads and buildings that will be constructed for the first 100 days. Hi, welcome to TechSpace. In this video, we will show you Elon Musk's strategies to organize and start constructing massive buildings and roads on Mars at the pace of 100 days. Stay glued to this video to find out more advanced construction methods that have never been used in history before. Constructing Mars will start with sending five starships to Mars, which will carry along some cranes, payload vehicles, and life support systems to Mars. The first five starships that will be sent to Mars are now under construction and developed with essential engineering analysis, which will aid it to withstand cargo weight and the long journey that will last for seven months. Some other starships will transport solar panels, batteries, medical and electrical equipment, waste management systems, and thousands of oxygen tanks. This will seem more like relocating a whole company from Earth to Mars, but at last, the hassle will be worth it. One of the starships will also carry the massive SpaceX communication system, through which broadband, Wi-Fi, and 5G internet networks will be created on Mars. Although, over 18 satellites will be installed at a considerable range to maintain constant transmission of information between Earth and Mars. A solar city will also be created on Mars to maintain an uninterrupted power supply, and the solar city will look more like a whole country covering over 50,000 acres of land on Mars. Elon Musk thought of using Boston Dynamics robotic dogs to survey plants, facilities, and machines and also to defend against any sudden attack should there be any clan of alien intrusion. Work will begin by setting up structural foundations and digging underground Martian ice by rovers and processing the ice into water, oxygen, and pneumatic gas. Multi-machinery rovers that look more like a tractor will begin crushing and flattening the Martian rocks into leveled ground and preparing it for a large landing pad for traveling rockets. The first population on Mars will be made up of machinery and robots for massive construction and development of necessary facilities like a solar city, chemical and electrical plants, and petroleum depots. Having cleared and prepared some portions of the Martian environment for construction to start, another starship will land on Mars, and this one will contain medical doctors, scientists, engineers, and military personnel with a scientific background. They will all live on Mars for the first two years. Their visit isn't just for sightseeing, but a mission to make Mars multi-planetary. These experts may be suffering from the effect of low gravity after the seven months journey and may have weaker muscles. So, their first week on Mars will be scheduled to immunize their body system to reduce the effect of the harsh environment and also to celebrate the successful seven months journey from Earth before they'll prepare to face the real business. Before the crew starts working, they need to go sightseeing to feel and practice how to adapt to the environment. No doubt, the life on Mars is harsh and the temperature is way cooler than Earth's standard temperature, even in winter. The average temperature on Mars is negative 63 degrees Celsius and a maximum of negative 83 degrees Celsius. Of course, these temperature ranges are more than the average room temperature on Earth, which is 25 degrees Celsius. Heavy wind and storm are common in Mars. It frequently carries massive dust from the ground to the atmosphere and over the entire surface of the planet. Mars also experiences earthquakes. And the service rovers also serve as weather indicators which alert astronauts about the changes in weather conditions. When the two years of work begins, objects will need to be carried and packed at the desired place, but carrying heavy objects is easier since the gravity on Mars is less compared to Earth. 
The science crew will begin the investigation and carry out intensive research about the Martian soils to find out if they can be used as raw material to produce other useful elements. Since Mars looks more like a desert with no plant nutrients, crop and soil scientists will have to carry out another mission of growing plants indoor, but NASA has only carried out some tests about the Martian soil to inject chemical nutrients that will make specific kinds of plants grow on the red planet. The nutrients are suitable for growing plants like beans, carrots, tomatoes, cucumber, and watermelon. SpaceX now has a robotic factory where two starships are manufactured per week. Each starship costs about 5 million US dollars to build and SpaceX's goal is to build 104 starships per year. There is what SpaceX calls the launch window. The launch window is considered as a situation where Earth and Mars are somewhat close together and at this time, it will take only 5 months for the starship to travel from Earth to Mars instead of the usual 7 months. For this reason, SpaceX has started mass production of the Starship to meet up the next launch window. Each Starship takes about one week to complete. At the first launch window, SpaceX is preparing to launch about 216 Starships to transport the first humans that will visit Mars. The first successful colonists on Mars will not be allowed to live permanently on Mars but will only go there for tourism and each of these persons will pay about 50 million US dollars each for a ticket. You may be curious to ask how food will be produced on Mars for people to feed on. Let's explain that right away. It's true that food is one of the daily essentials of man to sustain life. But no matter how Mars' soil will be chemically fertilized or prepared for planting and harvesting, even with hydroponic means, in one year's time, there will still be insufficient food for at least 100 people to feed on. Therefore, some starships will still serve as the purpose of transporting food from Earth to Mars every seven months until food is enough. SpaceX will begin construction of the first permanent refilling station on Mars, but liquid oxygen and methane gas will be the chief resource. Other petroleum products like diesel and gasoline will be usable for some heavy-duty machines. Musk has already given the thought to manufacture non-combustive engines on Mars, so definitely only electric cars and flying cars will be the most mobile carriers on the red planet, and they will all be manufactured on Mars courtesy of Tesla and the Solar City. The Hyperloop will also be considered later. Various skyscrapers constructed as homes and offices will be built and equipped on Mars just as it is on Earth. And Elon Musk wants a situation whereby people can board in the flying car at any level of the skyscraper without going all the way to the ground floor before taking a taxi. Musk wants to create a city on Mars that is very different and flexible compared to what we have here on Earth. For the first year on Mars, 3D printing machines will be used to mold blocks and shapes for building residential units and facilities that may require cement. Some raw materials which will be used for making glass, like sand, soda ash and limestone, will be extracted from Mars and some will be moved from Earth to Mars. Raw materials that will be used for making metals like iron ore will also be transported from the Earth. Though, scientists are still making serious research on various products which can be extracted on Mars for making other useful products. Wood will be transported from Earth for producing wood, since for now, trees have not been discovered on Mars. Fish and some aqua bodies will be transported from Earth because more water has been extracted from Mars's underground ice. After all construction is done and everything is fixed at the right places, then the first permanent residents will land on Mars and be given the first medical attention to treat the fatigue as a result of a seven month journey. They will also receive necessary medications to make them resistive to the toxic chemicals on Mars. The first marriage will also be celebrated on Mars and the first baby will be born on Mars. Medical practitioners will always have to monitor the health of the baby and the mother to maintain good health. All of these will be duly recorded in history as the first colonists on Mars, just as we have the history of the Stone Age on Earth. After a few years when all ingredients are deemed healthy and have been developed on Mars, people will start heading into Mars and the first country will be created on Mars. 
No doubt, all that has been explained are what Elon Musk dreams to accomplish before 2030. Do you think people will want to travel to Mars and colonize forever? Please do well to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, please like, share, subscribe. And while you're still around, why don't you click on one of those flashing videos on the screen for more content.